Welcome back to the show. And you know what? It's hard to follow up G, uh, GW, former president, but we can do that when someone's lost 300 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we have Miss Linda Goff here. Melinda, welcome. Thank you. Is it Goff? Is, it, is that correct? It is. Melinda Goff is perfect. Oh, wow. And this, she's written the book, The Skinny Budget Diet. And uh, you know what? That's a, I like skinny budget. That's because you know most dieting is expensive. It is, and I wasted thousands of dollars over wow. the course of twenty years. I was on about every weight loss plan imaginable, <laughs> oh, and probably the most drastic thing I tried to do was have gastric bypass surgery. Um, I was heavy enough; I was over three hundred pounds, so I qualified for the surgery, uh, but my insurance company wouldn't pay for it. Oh wow! So this book is how I lost the weight without having surgery. So if there's anyone watching today that they they believe the only way they can lose weight is to have surgery um, before you do something drastic grab the skinny budget diet because it, it's my plan on how I lost 155 pounds without you know any wow. sort of drastic wow. surgery so, so tell us some of the things you did try that didn't work okay there's some funny ones there's some really <laughs> we, funny ones I think we'll get some good some yeah good well, there's some good, there's so some good ones um, I've done I've done Weight Watchers and Atkins and all of the the, popular. Know, the the popular ones okay. absolutely I've also done some crazy ones uh, I did one in college called the Banana Diet where you eat nothing but bananas for breakfast and lunch <laughs> and then if you can get up and walk across the room you can have a normal dinner but um, I don't recommend that diet that, that, that is, is, that is that sounds the craziest one that's that crazy and then I I did some diets um, where now it's it's it was a prescription when I took it but now it's called Ally and you can buy it um, over over the counter and it is it, it is a weight loss product with some really nasty side effects and really? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna gross out your okay, audience yeah, we, but we, yeah there's, we, can, we can imagine there's what some, that there's is, some so nasty can, side effects okay. with that one so you know I had been on so many diet plans and really what I wanted was to buy my way out I wanted to spend money and have the product do all the work for me I didn't want to you know, turn this over to the Lord, you know, to get his direction. I wanted to fix it myself and I wanted it fixed immediately. And so I was game for every get thin quick plan on the market mm -hmm. and it, it put my family in debt. It did? Yeah. I mean, you're, and how long did you try all this stuff? I mean, I imagine over a long course. It's 20 of years. It was 20 years of on and off yo-yo dieting. Um, I would watch an infomercial. I would get excited. How was the Jenny Craig, Atkins? How's all that stuff? Well, and, and the thing is, is, some of the plans that I tried, they were healthy plans. I just wasn't ready spiritually, emotionally. I, I didn't want to put in the hard work. Yeah. I, I had an idol. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. Food was my idol. Yeah. It's where I went when I was sad. Um, it was my comforter and it was my crutch so anytime I had a bad day I got a carbohydrate hug and you know it, obesity is one of the things within the church that we just kind of turn a blind eye to you know it's sort of the one vice that Christians are allowed to have is eating mm -hmm. and um, boy I, I sure took advantage of it and wow. no one knew how sad I was that's the thing is you know I just rocked the big girl thing you know I made jokes <laughs> at my own expense you yeah. know and no one knew how desperate I was inside to how, lose weight. How did you feel though I mean what did you feel in your heart and how did you have what was your outlook in life when you when you were actually that size? Yeah everything has uh, it uh, if you can fit in the chair that, mm -hmm. that was kind of my theme for everything. It's like I could go on an airplane, oh, but I can't fit in the chair. I can go on a roller coaster, oh, but I'm not going to fit in the chair. And so that's really, you know, you kind of judge every activity in your life that way. Um, I wanted to go on missions trips with my family, and I couldn't go because I was too large. And when we wanted to go to Haiti, we mm -hmm. were told that they will weigh you at the airport because the planes are small. Wow. And they need to keep it balanced. And so I envisioned... Me on one side of the plane and everybody else on the oh other gosh. side. You know, you just oh have the, you just have these nightmares like that, and so it really changes the purpose that God has for your life when you're not able to travel and when you're not able to be active. So when did you hit rock bottom? When did you say, I'm going to do this finally? Okay, I'm going to put this aside. Yeah. I'm going to focus on this, and I'm going to make sure I lose. What happened? What was the revelation moment? Yeah, um, I, I finally got brave enough to be honest about this. Um, I lost the weight from my marriage. Um, okay. I was daring my husband to find me attractive at 200 pounds, at 250 pounds, at 300 pounds. And he's an outstanding man, and he never told me I was fat. 
He always told me that he loved me, but I felt so ugly and unattractive. So it was like I had 300 pounds of rules for our marriage. It's like, okay, you can touch my face and you can touch my hands, but okay, my stomach's fat, so don't touch me there. And it was it was hurting our intimacy. Okay. It really was. And right. it, so I always try to be really careful. I, I never tell anyone that I lost it for my husband. I lost it for us. Yeah. I lost it for our marriage. It okay. was a gift to both of us. That was important to you. It is, and it sticks with you, and that's the key. You know, when I meet people and I mentor people and they're wanting to lose weight for a wedding or for a class reunion, that's all well and good, but that's a temporary motivation. That's not going to sustain you for a long journey. And so I always encourage people to find the real reason you want to lose weight. Do you need to serve the Lord and you're not able to because of your size? Is it your marriage? Do you want to live long enough to hold your grandchildren? Find real motivations that are going to last because those are the things that God will honor. God loves motivations like that because they're His motivations Amen. for us as well. Amen. Well, start telling us about the book. Okay. Start telling us how, how the skinny budget works. Yeah, it's really um, the way to lose weight without buying into this get thin quick mentality that the world has, that you have to buy pills or shakes or expensive gym memberships. This was how I lost 155 pounds by just going back to the kitchen and cooking healthy meals for my family, you know, meal planning and paying attention to unit prices and, and all of those things that our grandmothers knew how to do that I forgot and many women that are my age forgot how to do. I mean, we, we're a drive-through yeah, society. Yeah, we are. We you want know. to eat now and it doesn't matter how many calories are in exactly. it. Exactly. It looks good and, and, and I'm, I want to get the most I can for my dollar. Right, right. <laughs> so. And you know, it is amazing how you can eat normal, healthy foods. I ate hamburgers and hot dogs and meatloaf. I mean, I ate the normal things that people eat with their family. I just cooked at home, watched my portion sizes, and there's lots of tips in here on not only you know the physical aspects of losing weight but how to get support without having to pay for it you know mm -hmm. there's a lot of weight loss plans where they will give you support but they want a fee every month and you can do that on your own especially if you're in a good church with people that are going to love you and pray for yeah. you um, that's a tremendous place to go for support and I talk about that in here and I talk about what to look for when you're choosing someone to be on your support team because okay. you really need mature Christians and when they say they're going to pray for you they're really going to do it amen you need warriors and amen. so it's how to recruit those people and kind of how to not get discouraged when the scale isn't moving and that's a big part of weight loss um, oh yeah that you can't know, be you. you're like I did all this work <laughs> exactly and the scale's not moving and you know there were times where I would go two or three weeks without losing a pound and I would be you know just about ready to give up and you know no pun intended it's a fork it's mm -hmm. a fork in the road, and you have to choose, am I going to give up on this, or am I going to be faithful? Am I going to ask God to give me strength Amen. and to give me, you know, just some peace about this and just keep working the plan? And, you know, whenever I would pray for God just to, to calm me down and give me some peace, the next day I'd be down three or four pounds. It just, God was so faithful. And and I'm nothing special. I, isn't, I You know, I don't have that mm. much discipline at all. I mean, yeah. you can ask my... You can ask my husband. <laughs> I'm not filled with discipline, but the Lord is is so faithful when you're willing to give it to Him, and that's what I had to do. I had to turn over my idol, and I had to give, you know, my food, my plate to God, like I'd given every other part of my life. And you meant tell everybody how they can get your book. Yeah, um, it's on Amazon and Barnes and Noble, and then I've got a great website, theskinnybudgetdiet.com. It's got some recipes and some oh, more nagging for me. I'll be visiting there. <laughs> Uh, it's got lots of good details, and you can buy the book there as well. All right. Is this my copy? or is This, this is yours, yeah. Okay. Well, you sign that, and we'll be yeah. back with another great guest. Thank you for being on the show. Oh, sure. It was great.